Hello and welcome to my video about geyser advantages and disadvantages. Today I will be going over geyser advantages, disadvantages, and in slightly into how it works. So, remember to like, and subscribe, and hit the bell button to be notified of all my future videos. And let's get right in. Let's get right into it. So, geyser and see, what is it? It is a proxy. Uh, by that it means that it's sort of like a bridging gap between Minecraft Bedrock Edition and Minecraft Dev Edition servers, or uh, like a middleware. So like it's in the middle and it translates packets. Packets are basically uh, the code for the movement and Bedrock and Java have different packets. Uh, so Java servers can only understand a certain type of packets, uh, certain types of packets. And then you got Bedrock Edition packets, Java Edition packets don't understand. Java Edition packet readers don't understand. So, yeah, th that gets quite annoying. So, Geyser is a middleware and it translates those packets. So, it, it's the ultimate goal of this project to, is to allow Minecraft, Minecraft Bedrock Edition users to join Minecraft Java Edition servers as seamlessly as possible to allow for a true crap cross-platform so basically um, just cross being making it cross-platform servers so um, it can so it can be used on servers or it can be used on your own client uh, by that I mean used on like uh, your device like your device that uses bedrock and then it could basically let you join uh, Java edition servers which I find great so, um, I've showed a tutorial of how to install plugins and make uh, Minecraft cross-platform, um, which uh, link in the description and up here. Um, then you got um, how it works. Uh, as I said, you got the Minecraft Bedrock client. It goes to, through Geyser, which is a packet translator, and into the Minecraft Java Edition server. So, that's the basic um of what it is um let's launch up minecraft for minecraft um this i am currently on coder server which is my uh, personal server um and uh, here i pr play with friends that, that have a variety of different uh clients so uh currently i'm in my java uh, version so he here it's basically let's say the best version for the server Mostly because for the disadvantages, you have got that plugins, they do not work that well. Um, because, for example, if we do slash uh, balance, slash balance, it shows me my balance. Um, even if they, even if like bedrock players have like operator permissions, though that command would not work. Um, but it just doesn't work. So pl some plugin plugins may be slightly, let's say, glitchy, and not that good. Um, aside from that, you got that it um, sometimes is a little bit buggy, especially when it comes to skins. Uh, some like um, one once happened, a friend joined and his skin wasn't showing until I made him operator. I do not know why that happened and how that happened, but well, it worked, let's say. And it does get sometimes quite glitchy. It does sometimes kick them out uh, for some reasons, but it that that happens quite rarely. Um, another huge drawback, which is really bugs me, um, even though I do not have a PlayStation or any type of console. Um, on consoles, you can't just add servers like you can on Java edition or pocket edition so you have to like download a separate app on your phone and from that phone um, I think it uses Bluetooth or Wi-Fi either one uh, to like sort of add that server quite annoying but is it doable for sure like um, it's quite annoying but that's um, but that's how it works, basically. Um, so those are that kind of concludes it for the drawbacks. Uh, for the advantages, is 
most times it works perfectly well. Uh, you can see you can see their movement well. Uh, you can like see their movement as it happens. Uh, you can oh they can use the chat, and that's one great thing. But just sometimes commands may not work. Uh, but like the built-in commands that like are in vanilla Minecraft, uh, they will always work on those consoles unless they are not operator. Um, so yeah, that it's like that, and then you got well, it it works quite well, and um, you got how it works. So um, it is a plugin. So you will not be able to put it on a mod server, on a server that uses mods, like a Ford server. Uh, so you can like, so I currently use it on a spigot server and it works perfectly fine. Um, so it's just put in the plugins folder and it works perfectly well. So that concludes it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.